Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the Tulum Mayan Ruins, one of Mexico's popular tourist attractions, and some helpful tips in visiting. So to start off, these ruins are located on the Yucatan Peninsula. So if you are traveling from Cancun, it will take about two hours to get there. And they're also located on a cliff overlooking the Caribbean Sea, which has a gorgeous view. So stay tuned to the end of the video so you can see those. Something that I personally found helpful was pre-purchasing my ticket prior to arriving. Um, I booked it through my resort, which also included transportation and a guided tour, which I found helpful. A tip that I would have is to arrive early in the morning. The lines got ridiculously long. I want to say we got there around like 9, 10 in the morning and it was fine. But when we were leaving, people were waiting at least a couple hours to get in. Which then brings me to my next point of wearing comfortable walking shoes and breathable clothing. The entire excursion, y'all, is walking. <laughs> if you are not in some comfortable shoes, it will not work out in your favor. So definitely make sure that your shoes are comfortable. And it's also very, very, very hot. So my next tip would be to bring sunscreen, hat, umbrella. Also, prior to entering, I did kind of show a small clip of a shop that we were in. Use the restroom in there and also purchase water because once you enter the site, there is nowhere to purchase anything additional. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and make sure that your notifications are on just so you're not missing out on my upcoming travels, which I do have some trips planned, guys. Um, if you want to see more of the Cancun side, I do have links down below to our resort that we stayed at and also to this specific excursion. During your visit, you will notice that there's a lot of barriers um, and it kind of breaks up different areas. My next tip stay on the path do not be that person that trespasses or that goes into areas that you should not be in um the path is clearly marked <laughs> you will have time especially if you're on a guided tour towards the end they do give you free time to roam and they're very clear about what time you should be back um so you will have time to take pictures to go back to different locations if you want to another tip would be to ask prior if the beach is accessible because I assumed it was and it was not. I believe there was construction going on, so the stairs leading down were closed. But guys, this view was everything. Like, it looks like a postcard. It doesn't even look real. It does take probably about five to ten minutes to get back to the main area where they have restaurants. There's lots of shops to purchase things from. So if this is something that you're wanting to do and explore, make time towards the end in order to enjoy all of these things. And that is all that I have for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Just a reminder, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you do that. Share this video with a friend and I'll see you guys next time.